going on YouTube? Jimmy World here. Hope everyone's having a great day today. Bef I know you guys see the title and thumbnail. It's exactly what it says. But before I even jump into it, guys, I got to say something. So I had been posting on all my videos. I've been putting a poll on the top right corner. I said I wanted to do a franchise because I want to do something a little bit different, something a little less rage-inducing, but still difficult. And uh, I was totally thinking that I was going to be doing the Reds. But you guys, on every single one of the polls, the Marlins seemed to win. So I realized that the Marlins have like not that much talent and they have an absolutely terrible team which is perfect so that means it's gonna be an absolute challenge for someone who has no idea what they're doing in franchise so I'm gonna need your guys help but anyways guys so I decided to work on the thumbnail first I was actually working on the thumbnail and I had something completely different and it wasn't the worst thumbnail I'll ever I ever made but then I hit up my buddy Bengal also known as Bengal Design I said hey do you have any advice? Uh, you make really good thumbnails, and you know you're you're a GFX guy. You you know how to make graphic design. You know how graphic design works. And I said, like, you have any advice? And he hit me with some advice, and I started working on it. And he goes, it's not the worst thumbnail you've ever made, but send it to me. I'm gonna touch it up. And he just made this absolute masterpiece. I was honestly in absolute awe. And he didn't have to do that. And and I'm just really thankful. Shout out to Bengal Design. Shout out to Bengal. Uh, if you guys aren't already subscribed to him, his link will be in the top of the description. Go ahead and check him out. Uh, he has over 60,000 subscribers. He knows his stuff when it comes to MLB and when it comes to uh, NFL as well. Uh, he does a lot of franchise rebuilds, and uh, he's just absolutely great at it. So shout out to Bengal once again. Uh, he didn't have to do that, and like like I said, I really appreciate that. Uh, I actually watched his Atlanta Braves franchise, uh, not a rebuild, or what is a rebuild, but his franchise where it's not a one-episode rebuild, and it's, it's actually a series that I watch pretty much every episode. So once again, shout out to Bengal. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. You didn't have to do that. But anyways, here we go. It is the beginning of our journey. You guys know that uh, I will be doing skits for these probably more than Diamond Dynasty because I feel I'm going to have a lot more fun with this. Um, but anyways, let's just let's just take a look at what it is we got. All right, so I do believe the roster I am using is this one. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if that is actually uh, OSFM, but I went through the roster. It looks pretty legit. Everything looks to be in order. Players that have been recently called up are on the rosters. Like Ronald Acuna is in the Major League roster. Glyber Torres is on the Yankees. Updated OSFM roster, Brian M207. Uh, 272 downloads, 100 ratings. So, so far, it seems like this is actually a pretty decent roster. It was just uploaded yesterday. Today's the 30th, almost midnight. Uh, so, this is the roster I'm using. So here's what we're working with. This is what we are working with. Of course, this is the number one guy, honestly, right now on the on the Miami Marlins. It is Lewis Brinson. Uh, we also got Brian Anderson. There's a couple guys out there. Uh, Brad Zegers already old. Stalin Castro has been in the league for a long time, but he's still only 28. So we'll see what we end up doing with him. We got a couple other guys that are fairly young. Uh, Harley Garcia, Nick Whitgren in the bullpen is supposed to be pretty damn good. Uh, Garrett Cooper as well. Uh, who else do we got on the major league roster? I think that's about it on the major league roster. Uh, so, but we also got some guys in AAA as well. Braxton Lee, uh, very solid. Uh, Sandy Alcantara is expected to be very good as well. Uh, we got Sean Burnett. Monte Harrison, of course, very big name there as well. A lot of guys, a lot of, it's, it's, it's one of the middle of the pack, uh, farm systems it's not the best but they've honestly got some gems we can probably do a lot of stuff move a lot of pieces and get some players up as quickly as possible uh who is this merendi gonzalez is uh expected to be very good as well uh magneti sierra is also pretty good isan diaz is expected to be very good as well uh let's see who else we got we got trevor rogers who's gonna be an excellent piece nick Nieder is gonna be a solid as well for us uh, and i think that's going to be just about it uh, for the most part, that is our Class A roster. But our 40-man is a little bit concerning. We don't have much depth, to be honest. We we really don't on this team. Everything we got is in the minor league system. Uh, our closer is Brad Ziegler. He's got to go. Our catcher, JT Ramudo, solid. Still very young. 82 overall, 27 years old. Not too concerned there, but his potential is a C, but he's already an 82. Uh, he'll probably decline over the next couple years, so hopefully we can move him for somebody else. Uh, first base, Justin Bohr, a lot of power, 29. Maybe we can move him. He's, he's uh, I believe he's unhappy with the front office. Uh, Starling Castro, also young, could be on the move as well. Uh, third baseman, we got Brian Anderson. That is the future third base there. Martin Prado, 34 years old. Not going to cut it. Shortstop, we, we have a little bit of a hole. We definitely need some help there. But we got JT Vito, 64, 64 overall. He's 26, though, but he is B potential. Uh, hitting the de hitting department, not where it needs to be. Uh, and pretty much the same. Our center fielders look great. We got two top 50 prospects, Lewis Brinson and Braxton Lee. Magnelli Sierra. Our off field is going to be solid in three to four years. Uh, so that is that is good to know. 
and uh, Monty Harrison. Four solid outfielders, four solid center fielders uh, between 21 and 24 years old. 2A and 2B potential. Lewis Brinson already in the major leagues. Braxton Lee as well uh, in AAA, almost all up there. Cameron Maben. I don't know what you can say about Cameron Maben. I, I really don't know what to say about Cameron Maben. But that's our team. Let's go ahead and jump into this roster. Franchise. I read Frost. Also, shout out to Bengal. It was literally his idea to call this the Vice City Marlins. I was honestly thinking of something. I was, I, I was when I was making the thumbnail, I was making it Vice City theme, Miami Vice. Uh, and he was like, just name it my, uh, Vice City Marlins. I was like, I like you, Bengal. But anyways, GM contracts on Fantasy Draft off. Uh, allow free agent or legend free agents off. CPU roster control off. Uh, CPU trading when they'll be able to make trades. I believe that should be on. Ignore budgets off, force trades off, and designator hitter uh, auto. Something I don't agree with. We all know I hate the designator hitter rule. I don't believe there should be a pitcher, or I don't believe there should be a pitcher hitting in baseball. After looking over our team, I pretty much made the conclusion that the uh, thing that the Miami Marlins are lacking the most, 100% uh, pitching, all three, all three spots in pitching, starting pitching, relief pitching, and our closer. We definitely need to make a lot of moves there. I don't know who we're giving up yet, but there's definitely a lot of people that can be on the move. If we can get rid of all these old people as soon as possible, that'd be great. Shout out to Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter, I, you, we all know I'm a Yankee fan. Thank you very much for all you did in Miami in a very, very quick time. Once a Yankee, always a Yankee. So I just spent some time going through the training regimen of most of the players, especially all the guys with B and A potential, making sure they're doing the right stuff, uh, making sure the guys with 44 speed weren't wasting their time uh doing sprints and doing stuff that, that will not benefit them at all uh i just want to get these guys called up as quickly as possible get them trained up a little bit so that we can deal them a little bit quicker but i think what's really important in this game is going to be the way we draft so i went ahead and i i hired two new scouts uh roger malaki uh he looks pretty good very expensive but he looks pretty good i also hired ian terrero so we can have someone out no i hired anthony hinkley because I needed someone internationally as well. And he does a good job finding pitchers. So we're going to look for some pitchers overseas with this guy. Uh, hopefully we can get a nice little draft class. Being that this is one of the first times that I do something like this, uh, I got a lot to learn. Now I do want to get some trades in like right when the season starts. So I'm going to go ahead and sim through spring training. Kind of see where we're at, how we're looking. Uh, Miguel Rojas, I was literally looking. Uh, I believe he's a shortstop. I could be mistaken. But I was looking for a shortstop. Uh, and I was looking at Didi Gregorius, so we're gonna auto that. The Marlins do not have. Well, let's let's auto fix that just for spring training. I was looking at Didi Gregorius, and I think that's gonna be a move that I'm going to make uh, as this start to spring training is exactly what you expect. Six and twenty-three. All right, so none of our young bucks had a particularly good spring training. Two hundred nine, one twenty-five for Lewis and Brian. Uh, and Braxton 179 and like I said we needed a shortstop for Miguel Rojas so that's what I'm gonna have to go deal with I was looking at making him part of the deal not sure if you can trade uh, injured players but let's find a deal for someone who can fill that role uh, until our minor league shortstop is ready all right so the first trade we're gonna make and it took me a very long time to get this trade to work um, but we are trading away one of our 10 top 10 prospects uh, Braxton Garrett we're gonna go ahead and trade him away but it's not gonna be for just nobody we're going to the Yankees and we're gonna take some of our prospects back uh I believe the first one we're gonna go ahead and take well not a prospect but we're gonna go ahead and take Didi Gregorius from them uh and on top of that we're gonna take a, a prospect he's not that great but B potential uh prospect Giovanni Gallego Gallegos and they're definitely interested in making this trade so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do and that is our first trade and sounds like a good deal and there we go we did take we did take on some uh, some payroll, but that's okay. We got Didi Gregorius right now. We got an injured shortstop, so it was very crucial that we fill that role until TJ Riddle was ready. All right, so the next trade I wanted to make, I wanted to get a little bit of more youth in the bullpen. So I went after a lefty reliever, and it looks like I'm giving up a lot, but I'm really not. Daniel Norris, uh, relief pitcher, lefty, 24 years old, B potential. We can work with that stuff. He's got four pitches. Uh, I think that can definitely help us a bit. I'm giving up Sean Burnett. Who's not bad. Um, 81 overall relief pitcher, but he's 35 years old. Uh, and he's 3.5 mil. Uh, also giving up a starting pitcher who's 29 years old and is a 56 overall with D potential. Uh, and last but not least, a left fielder who's 30 years old, D potential, and 59 overall. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I do believe we are going to make some cap room there as well. 
All right, I'm gonna offer a trade to them. I don't know if this works at all. If it says we think we should be getting more value, we think we should get more value. Okay, I wasn't sure if that worked. Yeah, scratch that. Well, this was another really tough trade, and I've been going at this for hours. My eyes are dang near bleeding. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of. Actually, I don't even know if this is a bad idea. Third base, we're getting rid of two third basemen, 20 years old, C potential, 61 overall. Uh, James Nelson, Martin Prados, 34 years old. Uh, it's time to look elsewhere at third base. We got Brian Anderson. It, it looks like you're 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 about ready. You, there is no other time. Uh, and we also getting rid of a B prospect. That was the one that was tough to get rid of. Isan Diaz. Uh, 64 overall from Puerto Rico B potential uh, but we are gonna go ahead and pick up a pitcher who's a little bit older but at the same time he's just been in the league since he was 18 that's why he seems like he's so old but we're, we're gonna get a nice little arm Felix Hernandez let me know if this is a really bad idea but uh it is too late we're gonna go ahead and make that trade happen James Nelson Martin Prado and we're, we're gonna take a definitely definitely gonna take a little bit of a hit uh, in payroll all right so I don't know how much you guys are gonna hate me for this one um, I think I found a trade that works. We're, we, we're getting Trevor Bauer, 27 years old, and we're also getting a 92 overall 25-year-old in Jose Ramirez who see potential, which is why I'm assuming they don't value him nearly as much because I could have traded him straight up for Brian Anderson. But I'm going to go ahead and throw in Wei Ying Chen and Jorge Guzman just for budgetary reasons. We are going to take a hit. But I'm going with this trade. This is crazy. All right, so I think this is the last move I'm going to be making in this episode. I'm going to be going ahead and trading Luis Perdomo uh, for Adam Conley pretty much straight up. Uh, a little bit younger, 24 to 27 years old, B potential to C potential. And he's already a high overall at 74 to 71. The other person I'm trading is a catcher, BJ Lopez, 23 years old, C potential, and 56 overall. Uh, and I am saving myself like $20,000 in cap space. So I think that's the last move we are going to go ahead and be making. Sounds like a good deal to us. We'll accept that trade. I'm looking at bullpen now. Uh, and I'm looking at some of the free agents. This is not a bad bullpen pickup. His per nines are pretty decent. Uh, and for one year at 620 k I'm going to go ahead and make him an offer and see if he accepts. Add a few years and maybe we can work something out. Um, 27 years old. B potential. I don't, I, uh, two years, 1.2, not enough for you. Three, how about two years at 1.3? Is that enough? That looks good. All right, so I'm definitely low balling here, but another guy uh, who used to be a Marlin, uh, but he had some injuries and he bounced around a little bit. I think he's playing in Mexico now. Henderson Alvarez, he's not too bad. He's, it's, it's something we can definitely work with at 2.5. I'm going to go ahead and make him an offer, see if he accepts that. Got to low ball a little bit, add a few more years. About 2.6 for one years. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, five mil for two years. Salary's too low. Come on, dude. You're playing in Mexico. You're playing in Mexico. 5.3 is my final offer. All right, I'm going to go ahead and check out Trevor Rosenthal next. Trevor Rosenthal is a potential, and he's only 27 years old. His hits per nine could be a little bit higher, but we'll work on that. Velo and break in case per nine are absolutely amazing. Two years, 5.8, maybe a little bit low. I am willing to go a little bit higher, and that's exactly what we get. We get it done. Our bullpen looks phenomenal. This entire team looks phenomenal. All right, so I think we've made just about all the changes we were going to make to our team before opening day. Um, I don't think we're going to make any more changes, but we'll, 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 we'll adjust on the fly. But really quickly, this is what our team looks like. It's a little bit different, um, but not completely let me take a look at this lineup. This is the lineup I want to look at. Uh, we got Cameron Maven, Starlin Castro, Jose Ramirez, Justin Bauer, JT Ramudo, Didi Gregorius, Derek Dietrich, Lewis Brinson. We also have Braxton Lee on the bench as well as JT Riddle. These are future guys right here. Uh, but then our pitching rotation looks a little bit different. We got a veteran in Felix Hernandez. Uh, Trevor Bauer is there as well. Dan Straley and, and uh, Harlan Garcia is there for the future. Luis Perdomo as well. Uh, but we also got Daniel Norris, who we went and got. Uh, we also went and picked up two free agents and Trevor Rosenthal and Tony Zick. There's another free agent that it, we might pick up if uh, someone starts to slack in our bullpen. Hopefully Kyle Bearclaw can step up as our closer. He's got decent stuff, but he's deep potential. Uh, and he's only 27. So let's, let's simulate one month and see how we're looking so far. All right, so this is a revamped Marlins team. But truth be told, I still don't think this is a team that's really going to compete. Uh, I don't want to turn off critical situations. I do want to play them eventually. Um, but for this, for this, for this simulation of the first month, uh, I'm not going to. Two and one start, not 
at all what I expected. We're just going to continue simulating. The Cubs have defeated the Marlins. We're not going to do that. Simulate again. There's Okay, so there's this. We might have to turn them off and then turn them back on eventually. Let's go ahead and auto fix just for now. This is better start than I had anticipated. I'm going to auto fix all. There is a lot of stuff that pops up. Five and seven. Okay, now we're heading to a little bit where I expected. And there's our first injury. Severino Gonzalez sustained an injury. Uh, out one or two weeks could be a lot worse than that. Uh, hopefully not nothing too major. Six and eleven. Another injury pulled groin. Uh, not too bad. Again, Dan Straley injury. In okay, injuries in this game entirely too high. But we've got we're getting a couple players back. Okay, we got three of our players back. Uh, Derek Dietrich blister on finger. Holy crap! I did not know realize major leaguers got hurt so much. Miguel Rojas is finally no longer injured. He was injured in uh preseason actually i want to fix this myself uh because miguel Rojas is getting sent down we're gonna finish simming off these last uh three four games the series versus the dodgers and a series versus colorado uh, and then we start a series versus philadelphia uh, i'm just gonna auto fix this for now i thought i had fixed it Derek dietrich's no longer injured auto utilize and that is going to be that Trevor Bauer injured as well. So we started off 10 and 17. Absolutely atrocious start for the Miami Marlins. Gonna take a look at some of these players, see where it is that we're struggling, and try to make some changes. So looking at some of the statistics, our bullpen has not been the worst, but there's a lot of cold snowflakes mixed to our starting pitchers. Uh, uh, Daniel Norris really is the only guy who's not performing that well in the bullpen. Uh, Junichi Tazawa 3.14. Trevor Rosenthal 1.83. Tony Zick, 3.6. Nitwick Green, uh, 4.5. Ziegler's only pitched two-thirds of an inning. Uh, and Kyle Bear Claws on fire, 1.5. 9Ks in six innings. Uh, our rotation, 4.46. Not that great. Two and three. Uh, four, or er, one and three for Trevor Bauer, 31. And he just recently got inning, or recently just got injured. Uh, Dan Straley's been pretty hot, 2.25. Three and one record. Harlan Garcia started off a little bit slow, but he's heating up 4.4, so that's going down a little bit. And Luis Perdomo is struggling a little bit, so if he has to go down, uh, we may do that option him to AAA and see what uh, what uh, what someone in the minor leagues is doing. Like Didi Gregorius is doing all right, batting 289. Solon Castro is a little bit shaky at 255. Jose Ramirez doing all right, 307. But a lot of players, since their morale is down because the team's performance is not doing well, they all got minus ones. Pretty much across the board. JT Ramudo's heating up again, 297 uh, with 1 and 10. Braxton Lee, 247. Johnny Givatello in limited at bats is batting 394. Bauer needs to pick things up very quickly. Uh, and so does Brinson. Cameron May been batting 254. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Dietrich, 227. Uh, Holiday has 0 for 16 on the season. Scott Van Slyke, uh, 190. And JT Riddle, 1 for 10. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for this first episode of the Miami Marlins, the Vice City Marlins. Uh, first episode in this franchise, 10 and 14 to start. Honestly, it could be... Ugh, I'm looking at the wrong one. But all right, guys, that's going to be it for this first episode of the Vice City Marlins. Uh, rebuild. Uh, it's a little bit shaky, 10 and 17 to start, but we're going to make some adjustments. Hopefully going to try to end somewhere relatively close to 500 in the first season draft well. But I hope you guys did enjoy this first episode. My first time. I think this is my first time in a while doing a franchise. I think I did a couple in 17 and 16. But we're going to we're gonna get back into it. Need your guys' help. Let me know what other moves should I make down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed, smash the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Whose world is this? The world is yours. The world is yours. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Whose world is this? It's mine, it's mine, it's mine, whose world is this? The world is yours, the world is yours.